give you a taste of your own medicine, you crazy bitch! I need to shoot those pylons. Get out of here. Nice. 
Foster. Did you hear me? I didn't want you to get involved. You weren't even supposed to be here, but that old asshole forced me. He made arrangements for the briefcase with a third party. I don't know who it was. He was risking his ass. He wanted me to be here, but he needed some collateral. That's why you got brought along. Don't bullshit me, Roddick. Was leaving me outside the castle part of the deal? This belongs to you. How did you get this? So you knew about her too? I'll explain everything. I trusted you.
can see the surface. Chris. Operation Sandcastle was a partial success. The DNA sample of subject codename Ogre was destroyed, but we were able to prevent Section 8 from collecting research data and uncovering evidence. We believe our primary goal has been achieved. Everything was buried by the desert. Ah, welcome Chris, back, Major. He left her down there! I'll kill that bastard! Where is that fucking piece of shit? Where is he? I'll kill him with my spare hands! Agent Crane, give him a sedative. You seem collaborative again. Good. Where the fuck is he? If you're referring to Captain Vulcan, he has just been commended for his heroic action. Heroic? Bullshit! He left her to die! He managed to rescue his superior and made sure the entire operation went completely unnoticed. Staying hovering in that sandstorm, they're already calling him Sandman. Fucking assholes. Commander Foster and Special Agent Reyes are dead. The operation was sabotaged, and we didn't obtain the contents of the briefcase. Somebody should have assumed responsibility. Don't you get it? Foster had everything set up to screw you over. He was gonna sell that damn test tube to the highest bidder! The personal interests of the Commander and his loyalty to us are no longer the issue. Now we have a much bigger and more urgent problem. The President. The men he sent on a mission are all dead. The Groom Lake Center no longer exists. Foster certainly bears some responsibility, but one dead culprit isn't enough. The President has ordered your execution, which will take place in the next few hours. How convenient for you. Maybe, but here's the thing. If we go ahead with your execution, we lose one of our baddest motherfuckers. What the fuck do you still want from me? Ivan Radek must die, but you, you're still in a position to negotiate. You can change your identity and be reassigned to this unit. You get to live on. If nothing else, you'll have the opportunity to plot your revenge, Special Agent Liev. In any case, any evidence of what happened down there has been completely destroyed, as has everyone else involved. The President will just have to suck it up.
wanted to say thank you, Ivan. Ruddick. Thank you for everything you've done for me, but most of all, thank you for staying by Delilah's side all this time. When I found out she had abandoned her prototype, I realized that our relationship was no longer recoverable. Which is why I decided to participate in this research project. It's been years since I received her last message. She had built the two prototypes for us, so we could communicate while we were apart. I'd have loved to hear her voice again. I'm glad you agreed to take the device. Tell Delilah that I was wrong. My feelings for her never weakened. Who knows if it's the same for her. Today, I'll try to make amends for my choices, at least in part. Whatever happens, at least I'll know that I remain true to myself until the end. Time is running away 